Gordon Carrera at the Foreign Office. Thank you. Scientists say that they have achieved a breakthrough in the treatment of multiple sclerosis after the results of an international trial involving stem cell transplants. Doctors in Sheffield were part of the study which showed an improvement in symptoms and the progress of the neurological condition halted. Around 100,000 people in the UK are affected by MS, as our medical correspondent Fergus Walsh explains. So nice to finally get out. It feels like my diagnosis was just a bad dream. Before her transplant, Louise Willits from Rotherham had severe relapses, attacks of multiple sclerosis. At one point, she was in a wheelchair. It also affected her mind. She struggled to read and follow conversations. Now, she's completely well and has a newborn daughter too. It does feel like a miracle. Almost have to pinch myself and think, is this real? Is it really God? Is it ever going to come back? I don't live in fear anymore, so I actually live every, every day the way that I want to live it, rather than around my MS. MS is caused by a faulty immune system attacking the brain and spinal cord. Symptoms include balance and muscle problems, fatigue and loss of vision. The BBC's Panorama followed Louise's treatment, originally developed for cancer patients. A high dose of chemotherapy was given to knock out her immune system. Then these healthy stem cells, taken from Louise's blood and bone marrow, were infused. Unaffected by MS, the stem cells rebuilt her immune system. Now, more than two years on, she's back at Sheffield's Royal Hallamshire Hospital for a checkup. The MRI shows there is no active disease in her brain. But I'm, I'm really delighted that the, the scan shows really stability. So this is really good news. Yes, it is. I'm <laughs> delighted too. <laughs> Results from a trial of just over 100 MS patients show that in the half who were given a stem cell transplant, there was only one relapse after a year, compared to 39 among those given standard drug treatment. Transplant patients were 10 times less likely to see their treatment fail after three years and their level of disability reduced. The results of this trial are quite simply stunning. It should mean that many more MS patients are offered a stem cell transplant with the hope of stopping their disease in its tracks. This is a, a game changer. It can fundamentally alter the course of patients with MS who have got resistant and disabling disease. The stem cell transplant involves a one-off cost of £30,000, no more expensive than the yearly fee for some drugs. It's not suitable for all MS patients, but the life-changing results with Louise and others are plain to see. Fergus is here now. Extraordinary results, Fergus. How soon might other people who have MS benefit from this? Well, Michelle, it's going to take time to scale this up and train the teams. Already three trusts, Sheffield, as you saw, plus Kings and Imperial in London are offering this. And in fact, 150 MS patients in the UK have had this treatment. Now, that's more than any other country in Europe except for Sweden and Italy, but it's just scratching the surface. Many neurologists have been sceptical and they've been waiting over a decade for the results of this trial we're reporting tonight. Those results are convincing. But the beauty of this treatment is it's the patient healing themselves, their stem cells, no need for a donor. And those stem cells are resetting the patient's immune system to a point before they had MS. Now it's a grueling procedure involving chemotherapy. It's not suitable for patients with advanced disease but it is delivering life-changing results. Fergus Walsh, thank you. Much of the UK has been in the midst of a second significant snowfall of the winter. For many areas, it's been combined with bitterly cold winds bringing